Hi you guys, it's Linnea. Welcome to the Instagram hop celebrating the new Gina K Designs release. So once again today, I'm going to be using the Wishing You Joy stamp and stencil. And if you watched my video yesterday, then you probably recognize this background piece. I made a set of five tags and I used the ornament die cuts uh, on my tags. And for one of them, I had die cut this ornament out of the center of a piece of cardstock to use as a template. And I don't like to waste anything, so I'm going to use it today to create a shaker card. So I've taken the Wishing You Joy stencil and I've laid that across my cardstock diagonally so that I could have like a little flurry of snowflakes going across my card. I have the Gina K Designs Gold Glitz Glitter Gel and I'm using a stencil pal just to scrape that across the stencil, which I did spray the back of the stencil with pixie spray yesterday, and so this is the 16th time I'm using this stencil without having to respray the back. I also masked off the edges with some purple tape just to make sure that I didn't get any of those other designs onto my card. After I'd completed my background, I grabbed the Radiant Red Gina K Designs Fancy Foils as well as the Stars and Stripes Foil Mates. And I had bought these originally to use for patriotic cards, but as I was looking at them, I wanted a candy cane background for my ornament, and I couldn't find anything until I found the Stars and Stripes foil mates, and I looked at it, and if you turn the stripes pattern diagonally, you get like that candy cane pattern. So I used the Radiant Red Fancy Foil. I set my uh, laminator to the five mil setting, Ran that through with the foil on top of the foil mates with a parchment paper carrier sheet. And then you can see this gorgeous foiled background, and that is going to be the back of my ornament. I've used some of the Gina K Designs foam tape, and I have actually tripled up the layer. It's thin foam tape, which I love for slight dimension, but I tripled it up so that I would have enough room for my sequins to move. When I'm making shaker cards, I always make a few mistakes. So number one, you wanna make sure that you add some of your powder tool around the inside of your, um, your foam tape. That'll make sure that your sequins don't stick. Another mistake I always make is that I don't add enough foam tape and so my sequins don't move. So I tripled up the foam tape this time. And then the third mistake I make is I always add too many sequins. I dumped in this whole little baggie of sequins and as I was looking at it, I realized that you wouldn't be able to see any of the candy cane stripe background. So I took about half of that back out, and it was the perfect amount. I added that foil mates background onto the back of that, and you can see how those sequins move around, and you can still see those candy cane stripes in the back. So I added plenty of the foam tape around my whole card front, and then I'm going to use the iCraft Ultra Bond Liquid Adhesive all over the back of the foil mates background to make sure that, that adheres to my card. And I'm also going to add that liquid adhesive on top of the foam tape so that I can wiggle it around if I need to. I have a card base here and I had cut my front panel exactly the size of a card base so that I could just stick that right on. And anything that hangs over the side, I will just trim off with my scissors. So for sentiment, I actually used one of the extras that I had from my tag project yesterday, and I adhered that to the front with some foam tape as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.